What's going on, guys? It's Pete Nova from the Faceoff Sports Network. I am back to take a look at defenses to stash to help you win your fantasy football championships. Um, I identified three defenses. All of them have two of three really good matchups in the playoffs. Some have, you know, weekly winning upside as well. Um, I've been really successful with the defensive streamers. You guys requested this, so I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. Um, but let's just jump right into it. The first defense that I'm going to take a look at is going to be the Arizona Cardinals. You can see their schedule is displayed here, but they're, the end of the schedule here, they get the Patriots in the first week of the playoffs, then they get the Panthers, then they get the Rams. Let's just look a little bit deeper into these matchups. The Cardinals get the Patriots in the first week. The Patriots are 23rd in EPA. This goes back to week six. I feel like it's a better sample size to take a look at. But 23rd in EPA and sixth in points given up to defenses in fantasy on a points per game basis. Um, then they get the Panthers away um, in week 16 in the semifinals, who are 23rd in EPA. Um, and fifth in points per game given up to defenses. And then they get the Rams. Uh, the Rams in week 17, 20th in EPA, 24th in points per game given up to defenses. I'm not in love with the championship matchup, but they should give you a solid start the first two weeks in the playoffs uh, to help you get to the championship. I mean, Patriots and and Panthers, you know, have have possible top five uh, appeal of the week um, with given given their matchups. Um, so they're definitely possibilities to help you win those weeks for sure. Um, then taking a look at the second defense that I have here, it's going to be the Buccaneers. The Bucs have a decent schedule prior to the playoffs, too. They get the Giants, Carolina, and Vegas uh, coming off of their bye. They'll probably be in some of our defensive streamers' uh, videos coming up before the playoffs. Um, but, you know, I love their, their schedule in the playoffs. You know, they get the, the Chargers, the Cowboys, and the Panthers. I don't love the Chargers in week one, so... I'm not really super excited about it, but you get the Cowboys who are 32nd in EPA in the semifinals, eighth in points given up per game to defenses. That has weak winning appeal. Um, and then they get the Panthers in the championship who are 28th in EPA, fifth in points per game given up to defenses. And I want to talk a little about, about strategy here. I mean, most the, the Bucks are probably going to be available to you going into the semifinals. You may have to drop some FAB or make them a waiver priority, but I don't think many deep people are going to be rostering them and playing them against the Chargers in the first week of the playoffs. So if you don't have the space to stash them, just keep them on your radar um, because I don't think you should play them the first week, but I definitely think they have strong appeal uh, the following weeks in the last in the semis and the championship round. And then I'm going to go take a look at my last defense to stash. It's going to be the Colts taking a look at their schedule to close out the season. They get the Broncos, they get the Titans, and they get the Giants. Um, look, Denver, obviously I'm a Broncos fan. You know, 18th in EPA, 27th when it comes to points given up to defenses. So they're not making a ton of mistakes. I probably don't want to start them. If I'm picking one out of these three, I want to start the Cardinals in week one. Um, I don't really want to have to start the Colts in week one versus Denver. But then their, their, their matchup the next two weeks is really appealing. They get the Titans in week 16 in the semifinals, 24th in EPA, first in points per game given up to defense defenses. Then they get the Giants in week 17, 24th in EPA, fifth in points per game given up to defenses. Look, this is a Colts team that we don't know where they'll be at that point in the season, but I know the, the Titans are going to be out of it and the Giants are going to be out of it. Those teams probably aren't playing for much of anything. They could be really, really good matchups. I think the Colts in the last two weeks are probably my favorite favorite defense to, to, to stash um, just given their you know appeal uh, you know Titans like I said first in points per game given up to defenses and the Giants are fifth in points per game given up to defense so you know I would love to be able to stack the Cardinals in week one and then have the Colts the following two weeks um, but you know a lot can change from 
from now until then quarterbacks could go down. You know, Dak Prescott looks like he's done for the year. Trevor Lawrence is injured. He may be done for the year. Like a lot of things can change from now until then. So, you know, if you have questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below as we navigate the rest of the season to the playoffs. You know, there might be a team that emerges that I prefer over these. So drop those questions in the comment section below as we get closer to the playoffs and I'll be happy to answer them for you. But that's going to do it for me, guys. If you have questions, like I said, hit me up on Twitter as well. Uh, but I'll see you guys next.